I'm appalled, people. Over 700,000 women had hysterectomies last year. And 70%, 70 percent of those were women of African descent. This is an issue of epidemic proportion. One reason for you all, people. Hysterectomy facts, what no one seems to be talking about. Hysterectomy destroys a woman's figure due to loss of structural skeletal support. Hysterectomy compromises bladder and bowel function. Hysterectomy increases risk of bladder and bowel prolapse. Your vagina will likely prolapse over time. Many women report a loss of sexual function, regardless of whether or not ovaries are removed. Hysterectomy is associated with an increased risk of heart disease, even when ovaries are not removed. Hysterectomy is associated with lower bone density, even when ovaries are not removed. Hysterectomy increases risk of thyroid cancer. Hysterectomy is associated with a 30% increase relative risk of renal cell kidney cancer. Hysterectomy is associated with reduced ovarian function or complete ovarian failure, causing an increased risk for a number of health problems. Hmm. This, is, this is not good. This is not good. And check this out. A health provider might recommend hysterectomy if you have fibroids, endometriosis, uterine prolapse, cancer of the uterine, cervix, or ovaries, vaginal bleeding, chronic pelvic pain as a last resort. I want to focus in on chronic pelvic pain and excessive bleeding. Why do I want to focus in on excessive bleeding and pelvic pain? Because people, they claim not to know why women have all these issues. But it is my opinion, right? If you trace back and you look at the tampons and sanitary napkins, like I said, I call them unsanitary napkins that the women use throughout a lifetime. As I told you in my first video, last week's video, there's dioxin in your sanitary napkins. And the tampons are even worse because they cause TSS, toxic shock syndrome. People have been known to lose both legs, women, because of using tampons. They take, for those of you who haven't heard, your tampons are made from trash, not from your kitchen, but trash from a landfill. Old newspapers, magazines with dye, wood pulp, old sanitary napkins, and everything that's in the landfill. And they take it and they send it through an eight step bleaching process to make it look white, since you believe that everything look white is pure. So when you look at this beach landfill trash, you're thinking it's cotton. But because they bleach it through an eight-step bleaching process with chlorine, it causes a chemical called dioxin. Now, dioxin is it's fine as long as it's not wet. But once it becomes wet, it's activated. And your pads were made to be, act to be what? Wet or activated, if you want to keep it real. Over 7,000 to 15,000 exposures and listen, by the time you hit 40 and 50, no wonder women are having hysterectomies. You shouldn't have to lose your womb. And if you already lost your womb, shame on you if you're not thinking about your daughters. 
our daughters, your friends' daughters, nieces, sisters, any woman out there shouldn't have to go through this. And if you may have all the symptoms from using your, losing your uterus, but once they take your, your womb out, you're going to suffer one or a couple of them. And in any case, that's not a good situation. If you suffered the loss of your womb, please comment below. Look at the resources I also have below and go to our site called nowweknow.net for more information. This is Cause Marketing. My name is Anthony Williams. Please pass this information for the life you save, maybe that of your own or someone that you love. Hysterectomy.